Sometimes in vPython you might want to have two different animation windows running at the same time. When you want to use that, you want to explicitly create two different canvases. Normally when you create an object, it will just create a default canvas for you and put everything into that one canvas. Uh, but if you want separate animation windows, you just use the canvas function. There are lots of options you can specify with the canvas function. Today we'll just focus on the background colors. We'll have one with a background color of black, one with a background color of white. Then you need to give those two canvases different names. We'll call them C1 and C2. And basically that's just telling GlowScript that you want to associate uh, each of those different canvases, each of those different screens with the names C1 and C2. Then when you go to create your objects, let's suppose you want to compare the motion of two different spheres and you don't want them running over each other, you just want them to run in separate canvases. When you create those using the sphere function or box function or whichever uh, shape you're creating, you just specify which canvas you want it to be in. So in addition to all of your usual options, you add in a canvas option and you just specify C1 or C2. So here we'll have uh, one red ball in canvas one on a black background and one red ball in canvas two with a white background. And so then we can basically treat these two uh, the same way we treat all of our other objects. Um, GlowScript keeps track of which canvas they're supposed to be and they're not going to jump from one to the other. So if I press Control 2 to run, we'll see these two uh, balls, ball one and ball two, uh, start to rotate around uh, as we change this angle theta. So there's our canvas one with a black background. If I scroll down, I come down to canvas two with a white background. Um, let me zoom out so we can see both of these at the same time. There we go. And so you can see the animations proceed independently. Nothing in Canvas 1 affects Canvas 2 or vice versa unless you wanted them to mathematically, like maybe you tie their positions together, but that's not going to be visually very easy to see. And of course you can, uh, you can right click and rotate them independently. Um, you can zoom in and out on them independently. Uh, so it's a nice way, you know, if you're running two different trials of the same simulation, you can have, for example, different initial conditions to see what they're doing differently. Other options you might be interested in would be the width and height of these canvases. So this is just to control the size. So let's suppose I wanted to make these a little bit smaller so that they can maybe fit side by side. Let's try a height of 100 and a width of 100 for both of them. Control 2 to run. Okay, that's actually a bit smaller than I anticipated. Let's maybe, I think we can get away with doubling that, make them 200 and 200. And of course, the result's gonna depend on your screen size, your resolution, your zoom factor, etc. Yeah, so that's good, 200 by 200, I think. So that's a handy little tip. You can work with multiple canvases. Again, this might be useful if you're running, you know, two slightly different simulations and you wanna see what difference they have. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.